Hey, it's Paul with RacketTac.com, here to answer a frequently asked question, which is how easy is it or hard is it to remove a installed rack? So here on this vehicle, we have the Thule Evo Clamp base roof rack system. First thing is unlock the car door. So we'll do that and then open the car doors all around. So I'll go ahead and go to the other side. Okay, so with all four car do doors open in this case, next we wanna access the, the fastener behind this, this plate, uh, this, this uh, lock cover. So I'm just using, in this case, it's just using the stock plastic plugs for this particular rack. And I'm just using, it can be a, a flathead screwdriver or a coin to give that a quarter turn and then just pop off the cover. Okay, and those just pop off like that. Uh, these are plastic, they won't hurt anything, so I'll just set those there temporarily. Now, in this case, you have a single fastener and the tool that's included with the Evo, Evo clamp foot pack, and I'll just unscrew. Removing the rack is, is faster than installing the rack because installing the rack, you do have to have even tension on both sides of the vehicle. And so I'll just uh, loosen this one completely which when you're installing it, you would just install a little bit at a time. Okay, now we'll loosen this one. And we wanna loosen it all the way up until the point where it actually, you feel resistance that you've hit the stop point. The reason for that is because when you reinstall the rack, you wanna start at an equal amount of tension. And the best way to do that is to have it completely loose. So even though it's detached, I wanna go all the way until this knob stops. Okay, I'll go to the other side and do the same thing. Actually, it's not even necessary because at this point, you can simply just lift and remove. Same thing, lift and remove. And there you see, we've removed the rack. Let me go ahead and set it over here on our workbench. Okay, so on this end, we haven't removed the end caps yet. And we'll go ahead and do that for the reinstall. Let me just go ahead and pop that loose. Pop this side loose. Okay, and then Let's go ahead and loosen this side up completely. And again, the purpose for that is to, is to ensure that when you start, that you're doing it even on both sides. Okay, and then on this one, same thing there. So this is, we're already at this, at the stages of the reinstallation. Obviously to remove the rack was, was very quick. Um, and that brings up a point, whether or not you choose to purchase locks to lock this particular rack up. As you can see, it is relatively fast and easy to take this, this roof rack off of the vehicle. Someone with some basic know-how could do that. So we always recommend any place on a system that has a lock housing, we would always recommend that you replace the, the stock plastic plug with an actual lock. Uh, so some people choose to do that, others don't. That would be up to your discretion. Now, the next step is you'll wanna reference your fit kit manual. So hopefully you've saved this manual from the original installation. This is the fit kit manual that comes with, with the vehicle roof rack system here. If you don't have this, it is accessible on our website. Uh, simply either go through the full fit guide to determine the fit kit number and find that fit kit where you'll find the manual or you'll have this, this guide. So all we're doing, all these steps have already been done. So we're going to the back page, the very last step, which is the distances that it needs to be placed on the, on the roof. Okay, and so also you, with the purchase of the foot pack, you should have gotten a measuring tape. So now all we have to do is go 275 and 700 millimeters. So I can easily remember that. Also, um, there's no confusion about which one goes in the front and which one goes in the rear because all of them should have been labeled. 
if you had followed our full install video on this exact same rack, you'll, you'll know that. If not, be sure to reference that for the complete install from start to finish. Okay, so let's go ahead and put this one in the correct position for the uh, front bar. Always start with the front bar. It is uh, 275 millimeters. This vehicle roof is already clean, but always clean the area where the, where the rack will be resting on the vehicle. So 275 millimeters, I will place the measuring tape at the, where the paint or rubber stop and the glass starts. That's a definitive point and bring the pad into position in that spot. I'll go to the opposite side, do the same thing. Now I can do the first round of tensioning on this side to remove any slack from that clip to where it, it touches the door frame but doesn't actually start to tension onto the door frame. Now since I moved that side slightly, we just want to double check this side to make sure it didn't move, get jostled around and just double check it. As you can see, it moved about an eighth of an inch, so we want to get that back back in line. Okay, now we're good. Okay, so now we can get that bracket and make sure it's positioned against the door frame to match the shape of the bracket. And now, so the other side is the tension is, rem is just removed to where there's no slack. Here we can go beyond that to where there's no slack and we can bring it up to about 30, 40, maybe even 50% tension. Okay, now I'll go back to the other side. Now on this side, it was going to slack. We're going to move past the 40% and go all the way to 100%. So you can hear that click. Close the door. Now we can click out this side. And there we have it. So next we'll put our covers back on and we can move on to the rear bar. So I've referenced the rear bar and that is the 700 millimeters. And I can go ahead and close this door now. So the best way to get your center to center measurement for the 700 millimeters is use the slot in that, in that in that rubber and get your 700 millimeters. I'm gonna bring it in alignment there. Okay, there's my 700 on this side. Let's go ahead and pull out the slack. I'm also checking to make sure that rubber is positioned on the roof line, just as it's illustrated on the instruction manual. It'll show you a, a side cross section of how that's expected to to rest and it's generally just basically falls into position on its own when everything is uh, assembled properly. Okay, then let's double check that measurement on this side. We've got start at the line there and we're looking for 700 millimeters. I'm gonna bring that, get it exact. There's my 700. Got the door frame bracket engaged. And now we can do our first round of tensioning. Okay. Clicking out there. Click that there. Okay, guys, I think we're about done. Got the 
covers on. Of course, you put the covers on the opposite side as well. I think everyone gets that. Lock it if you got it. But that is the full removal and reinstallation of this Thule Evo clamp based roof rack system. This product and the full line of Thule products are available at rackattack.com. Please see the link in the video description for more details. Also, you'll find links to a full installation from start to finish. Hope this was helpful to you and thanks for watching.